we need to be thinking about um, testing widely. Um, that's something that uh, is important. We need to be thinking about what is our capacity in our hospitals? Do we have enough protective equipment for our doctors? If we already anticipate there might not be in enough intensive care beds, can we start making provision for that? And we probably will need additional personnel and it might not be sufficient to have medical doctors, nurses and students. We might have to call for volunteers and we just need coordinated anticipation of what may come to our health system and, and act on it early. They took people even with mild symptoms from their homes into newly made hospitals or buildings that were habilitated stadiums. They also moved 45,000 medical doctors into Wuhan and um, had a, an extraordinary amount of social workers available. They imposed a very severe control on exits from individual houses. So there might be just one pass per family to go shopping either once a day or every two days. And in some cases on um, neighborhoods, there was no um, shopping. There was just online ordering. We might not be able to isolate patients in the same way as China did. And it's important to also realize there were some psychological uh, impacts of this exercise. And um, we know that there have been cases of uh, PTSD. But it is important to understand that isolation is critical. And one of the things we can learn is how to come up with good protocols of self-isolation. Because one thing that China realized is that if there is a case of infection in a household with more people, those people are very likely to get infected. And that can mean a very significant increase in cases. I have a laboratory in Shanghai and my team members there are asked to take their own temperature twice a day and report it to the local hospital and to the local government. Um, now all of this is being monitored with, you know, big data systems. But, you know, I think people understand that there is a level of individual responsibility as well to keep this under control. And as we hear, they are also still um, implementing very strict travel controls, particularly for foreign visitors. So I think they will keep um, a close eye and try to prevent the re-emergence of infection. The Australian Academy of Science. Because questions need answers.